trip. All right. Hello, everyone. See that right there? That's rain. Um, first road trip on Rosie. Cruise control on, music going. Your plugs are in, very important. These are the climb uh, these are latitude gloves. Not latitude. I can't remember what these are. But they're uh, not Gore-Tex, but they are Gore stop wind stopper. Uh, really lightweight. It's 76 degrees, which is remarkable for April. Uh, we've got our alien on board down there. Well, they can't see it, but we got an alien on board. Um, so 490 miles to go. It is I don't know, like 3:30 or something. Oh, 2:54 p.m. on a Friday. So what are we doing? Well, we're heading to JDB's uh, Productions Tech Day in Alexandria, Virginia. That is uh, Jim, of a J. Uh, I've met Jim once. He and I did a swap. I gave him my Beaumont uh, luggage. He gave me his Jesse luggage. And I love those Jesse boxes so much that I bought more after I crashed my last bike. Uh, Jim, I told him I'd be at his tech day at least the last three years in a row. And once again, yesterday, I looked at the weather and said, well, shit, I'm not going to go. And then I said, you know what? If it gets unbearable, I have to get a hotel for the night. I wake up at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and it's still unbearable then uh, I'll wait it out and head back home. But at the very least, let's give it our best our best uh, bet to get down there and see, say hi to everyone. There's a few of you that watch these videos that'll be down there, so I'm excited to see all of you. Uh, the Moto Power Puck guys are there, and they're powering my iPhone right now. So uh, I want to meet them and give them kudos about their awesome uh, wireless Qi charger. Uh, what else? I mean, you know, just looking forward to the first road trip. It is supposed to literally rain from 7 p.m. tonight until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning from Vermont all the way down to Virginia. So if I left at like 7 o'clock, I would literally be in rain the entire ride. That's how bad it is. But, you know, what are you going to do? Give it a shot and just uh, hope for the best. Uh, I think I may, if it starts raining early, I may cut across uh, the Green Mountains of Vermont and go down to Albany and then head south from there through PA. If all goes well and traffic doesn't heat up, then I will uh, set south of New York City and go that way as the GW Bridge. Got my uh, easy pass and fix there behind my um, uh, wind guard there. Now look a little faster here, pass it, guys. That's really it for now. Just the first update. I'll let you guys know if it starts raining. Obviously, I'm just super stoked. And uh... all right, I had to. Uh, I had set my seat to low and low. Um, on the front and the rear, but it sort of hurt my butt too much. So just one of those things that you kind of try out and realize, ah, I realize now why it was on high, high. We good? Yeah, we're good. So we're at uh, Mount Bromley. It's obviously close for the season, but you can see how, uh, how much snow there still is. Mount Bromley. So, uh, just wanted to follow up with that seat rising thing. Hell yeah. That feels way better now. Way better. It's uh, 68 on top of the mountain. And uh, now we're heading down. So, we're actually, uh, we added about 15 minutes of time to our road trip today by going through Albany. I'm hoping, although it will still be getting rained on, that the rain will be. Uh, we're kind of going against the rain, so it's moving east. This is our first gas stop of the trip. Well, we're, um, New York's over there. It's not it's not very close, but it's right over there through all the fog. I might get a good view of it, but the traffic is so bad. I mean, okay, bad for me being middle of nowhere. This is pretty awful traffic. So I really won't be able to catch the city unless it comes into view like right now. Uh, we're in and out of little droplets. There's um, a lot of wind developing uh pushing west to east so that's for the low pressure system kind of coming in and uh yeah lots of traffic here so we're gonna focus on driving 
I just got the music on shuffle, so I'm not even distracted by anything. Just, just chilling out. We're not swinging apart here. He's gonna get for in a few minutes. Anywho, yeah, kind of wet. That means there's gonna be some oil on the ground. Well, this is me rolling into Newark, Delaware. It started raining so bad that I had to stop. And then finally, the next morning, this is me leaving Newark, Delaware. And yes, it's still raining, heading into Baltimore, Maryland. It got so bad, actually, that I had to, um, yeah, my easy pass wouldn't work. I had to, like, go, like, 40 miles an hour. It was, <laughs> it was the worst rain I've ever ridden in in my entire life, which ran for four years, so it's not a big deal, but it was torrential downpour. Everyone was going 40 miles an hour, and I was matching their speeds, so... Uh, Baltimore's tunnel here, and we are almost to Alexandria, Virginia, to the tech day. So, um, yeah, long night. Basically, drove from New Hampshire to Newark, Delaware, got a hotel room for 80 bucks, and then uh, next morning woke up still in the rain, <laughs> finally clearing out on the way to Baltimore. So, here's JVB's place, and there were like 70 motorcycles here. I couldn't even find parking. We have our bagel. Oh yeah, we're here by the way. <laughs> bagel and coffee. And everyone's already doing tech stuff. I'm gonna eat my bagel and then I'll figure out what, what's gonna happen next. As you can see, I brought uh, Jesse MOA stickers, people. I'm fast forwarding a little bit here. Basically there was a Nomar uh, tire changing setup available people to change their tires. There were lifts available for people um, I'm just kind of giving a, like, a quick view of all the bikes here. I mean, it was insane how many motorcycles were here. Uh, pretty much all Boxer are bikes. So, um, this event, it was the best tech day I've ever been to because you have free breakfast, free lunch, free giveaways, uh, tech help everyone was was available to help there were tools available um just jim thank you for doing this it was just such an awesome time um we even have an airhead we had like, it was an r70 slash six is that what it was anyway it, it was just just such a good time i helped a guy install a five series bmw horn in his bike um, I helped other people with some random tech help. Uh, I'm just so happy <laughs> this happened. I'm so happy I was able to go. I won't go every year, but I, I think it was such a lot of fun to, to join in this. Um, I even myself had some help with the uh, mudsling install from Jim. He helped me with the mudsling. And I had his. He he threw me a nipple to go over the bolt on my Jesse rack that I was rubbing into my Acra. Uh, muffler and yeah just just finish and, and the chorizo oh god the chorizo okay we're getting there let's uh let's go back to the <laughs> to the video there was a guy doing a valve like a fuel filter and valve change on his f650 uh single amazing <laughs> all right i got a five series horn on a gs right okay we're firing a horn <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. Sip. Very much of a sip. Yeah. Looks great. That's Not look great. empty. Big like this would get Oh, beautiful. What what you get from Yeah. I'm hungry. I haven't had any food yet. I'm gonna get a, a, a bun. Good. That's clean living. Yeah. I see ya. Hi there. Got some home, home, homemade brew here. All the, by the way, all the prizes are in there against the wall on the little white table, and then the first half towards the white table of the of the red toolbox. Don't take my GS911 and the laptop, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one, one zero eight zero. Yay! 
Right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's already got it. One zero eight zero, and I know what he's getting. It's that GS nine eleven. Yeah, that's the No, my GS nine eleven. There's one in there for for gift too. Next one, one zero five nine. Do we get to steal? Is it like Secret Santa? <laughs> On the watch line here. I know, right? Did you ride? No. No, I'm working here, so I'm, I'm living here now. Okay. But, uh, Lewis is still here. Okay. Okay. Right, safe. Will do. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. And I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I discovered I will have to go home and bend that bracket. Okay. Once I had it off the center stand, the horn's hitting That's the floor. Oh, sure, I'm sorry. Not a big, not a big deal. Right. Already bent it a little bit, but... Well, if you can if you can get the airbox off and bring the T45 out, yeah. maybe we'll replace the uh, bolt. Just replace really. it with that bar. Yeah. Yeah, and have it swung out of the way. Well, safe travels. Have a good year. You too. Thanks. Uh, the one nothing. Quick update, it's uh, 3.15, I'm waiting on Jim to help me with uh, the Meyer rear splash guard, but a lot of fun, everyone's busy doing stuff on their bikes, <laughs> great place though, thanks Jim for doing this. Awesome, awesome, awesome event so far. And no one's dropped their bike yet. It looks like it's coming, but not very easy. No, it's going to fight every bit of it. It's just tearing that edge up as it goes. You have to find more edge to grab it off. Yeah. All right, it's like 5 p.m. on Saturday. Finally leaving the tech day. I was there all day. Just too much fun to get away, honestly. I just feel so appreciative. I mean, you know, having ran events like this, not a tech day, but events where you invite people over and you um, feed them and you clean up after them and you have the oil left behind and the tires to dispose of, it's like, it's really a serious undertaking. And, uh, you know, 
the the amount of before and after prep work that Jim had to do for all of us, it's 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 a really big deal. Thanks, dude. It, you know, it means a lot to me and and to this community that you did this for me. Oh, sorry. I'm at Andrew's house who um, he and his partner made the um, uh, Moto Power Puck, which is awesome. That's the wireless Qi charger. He invited me over for brisket. That was the brisket. Uh, after we had brisket and uh, his, his girlfriend, future wife, made um, this awesome uh, chocolate cake, I hopped on the bike and I headed north. So here I am going through the Baltimore Tunnel again. So basically, you know, Saturday morning I went through this tunnel. Saturday evening I'm back on this tunnel because I am, um, and I'm only doing this because I, I had a microphone failure here. I didn't, it didn't come through. But basically, I just had to make it north. So I made it all the way to, to, to New Jersey, which made my Sunday morning a lot easier of getting home. So we can uh, pick back on that now with my microphone issues fixed. We made it to uh, Trenton, New Jersey. And we're at uh, a Holiday Inn. 109 a night. She's doing really great. No problems at all. But I'm tired. Time for bed. So, let's go to sleep. Well, hello, New York. We are, uh, we are in you. Well, not really. You're over there. I have decided, though, I decided though that uh, I'm going to be going to get some bagels to take home. And look at this, if I go into settings, settings is grayed out on my, on my TFT. I can't even, I can't even access settings. So I, uh, well, <laughs> this is a cascading thing here. This morning I spent about an hour trying to find a place north of the city like Bronxville, White Plains, that had bagels. Then I had to try to find one that was open on Easter Sunday. Then I had to find one that took credit cards. <laughs> um, and then I searched for that address on my Garmin SmartLink iPhone app. I sent it to my device. My device then froze, and I had to um, disconnect Bluetooth and reconnect Bluetooth to fix the problem, which the problem pretty often. Then I sent it to my device, it took it. I quickly disconnected Bluetooth so I could push the buttons again. I started navigating and it said get off and it told me to get off the interstate, Staten Island Expressway. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to Staten Island. I zoomed out of the map. I'm like, oh this is definitely taking me to Staten Island. Supposedly it's a Bronxville and Staten Island. So while I'm off there, I was only at 19 miles range left, so I got some fuel put it in my iPhone, so I have my iPhone navigating me through it now, which is giving me the right area address, and I get back on the bike and take off, and I have no music, so I pull off right before the uh, Easy Pass toll booth, and it's been about 10 minutes trying to get my helmet to connect, I reset all settings on my helmet, I reset Bluetooth on my iPhone, and then now, my bike settings is frozen. So I have no music, I have no in-ear navigation voice, and Garmin is taking me home as opposed to this deli. <laughs> the cascading effect here, I mean, it's multiple failure points, like, I don't know, I'm very annoyed right now. Um, but there's New York, <laughs> right behind that big trash heap. I'm, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to that really place. I am going to turn my bike off. i will sit off for like 10 minutes while I eat a bagel. When I come back, I'm going to turn it back on. If it can't find the helmet, then I will unplug the battery. <laughs> Force this bitch to hard reset. Well, we are, uh, we're in New York now. Three minutes to go, 12 and a half miles on a Sunday. That's insanity, man. Alright, well, we are doing uh, 
Now they fight in the north. Yeah, people say the roads of New York are bad, but they are nothing compared to uh, <clears throat> what we have in New Hampshire. I have a K-75 clip I'm driving through here as well. All right, uh, 87, two point one miles. Post that screenshot to Vortex. And they're closed. Like hard breaking. What's not this one? It's the next one. Oh, you know, I have a feeling that, like, something's wrong with my exhaust. You know, Jim noted that the exhaust is moving a little bit more than you expect it to. Um, and it seems like it's gotten louder over the last 500 miles. As if, like, I'm not muffling at all, I'm just straight. I think some gas should get off here. You know, I'm not muffling at all, I'm just basically... There's a shell there. Oh, God. I know. I know. Go over here. There's no nails in here, right? No, there's no way there's nails in here. Check this exhaust. Get some fuel. Yep, that was your spot. Just left uh, the local burger. I want an Indian and I want a Mexican and I want a Moroccan. I don't, you know, we don't have this kind of variety where I live right now. And uh, I wanted it all because I couldn't have it all. So <laughs> I basically opened Yelp and went to the highest rated thing and it was the burger box.
I'm home. Kind of an uneventful finish, but uh, I'm home. What a long day. <laughs>